everybody! This is episode 3, and today I am going to cut free all of the foam, and then apply the silicone. So it's going to be a lot of cutting, so if this video just starts going fast with music behind it, you know why. So let's get started, shall we? So I'm just going to start just cutting off all the bulbous pieces of foam that I'm not going to need.
So there you guys go. I have finished, relatively finished, all of the picking away of the foam. I'm going to go through with the fine tooth comb and pick out little details I don't like. There's a couple little things that I'm going to deal with. And then uh, next time you'll see me, you'll see me applying the background silicone. So that'll be gloves and a lot of rubbing around and it's a definitely a smelly project. So next step, silicone. On to silicone. One last look, black. And I've already cut off the end. So let's get started on this, shall we? So what I'm gonna do is just kind of start kind of pop the hole all the way down first, shouldn't I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer it, it's a small tank so I'll probably layer it all first, spread it around and then apply my coconut fiber. You don't want to lay it on too thick, but thick enough to cover any anything that's showing. And you'll go in with your fingers and really rub it in after a tiny bit of this. And you will be able to scrape it off the side, so don't worry too much about getting it everywhere. Okay, so I'll just go in and start rubbing it around. Um, there's no real easy way of doing this, I found. It just kind of rub it on all the foam. I was going to do black foam, but I feel like it'd be harder to see the foam, so. I think the silicone's the way to go, or the black silicone on white foam is the way to go. And uh, yeah, you'll just start just watch me go and I'll cover the whole interior here. Anywhere, anywhere that silicone touches is where the coconut fiber will stick to. Use your finger as a paintbrush. Great, happy little vivariums. And then if you got a spot that's a little too small for your finger or something, you can get in there with a some kind of device. I usually use this, this brush that I've been using for a lot of these applications. And you want to lay a um, newspaper down or something so it doesn't get everywhere. And hopefully you're not just seeing my forehead.
Well, there you guys go. Um, I will give you guys a good look in a little bit later after it's done curing. Okay, bye.